Welcome. In this course, you're going to learn how to use cloud storage to manage your learning projects and the other information that you're downloading from the internet, pictures and videos, documents that you create, OneNote or Evernote, how you store your most important information, the information you want to have on your phone, the information that you want to have on your laptop, on your desktop computer, how do you keep it all figured out? So what we're going to be doing is covering, number one, which are the best cloud services. And we're going to talk about features because they really all have a slightly different set of features. And then when do you use them? So we're going to be talking about things like, for example, Google Docs or OneDrive. You have documents that you can only store in Google Drive. So how do you take that into account? And this is also something that integrates with my information management system. So that system for how to organize your information, the information inboxes, and then the final resting locations, that works within this bigger picture. And this is also something that you can use in terms of backup. <clears throat> if you're backing up anywhere from one to 10 terabytes of information or less, then you can use cloud storage to do that very cheaply. Um, and what we're going to be talking about in terms of the different options, including some that I doubt many of you have ever heard of, inter we're not just talking about Dropbox and Google Drive. It goes well beyond that. Um, you're going to, you're going to be learning about, um, uh, how to, which one of these to use for different situations, including situations like when you're collaborating with other people, or if you're hiring a freelancer and you want to share files and maybe you're on a certain system, but they're not on a system, or maybe they're using the free version and they only have two gigabytes of space and you need, you need to have more space. So there's all these different factors you're going to learn which system to use, which cloud storage to use, how to use it for backup as well. And uh, this is a very powerful course. So uh, I really encourage you to take this and get your stuff backed up. There's so many people who don't back up their information. You may be one of them. And this is a really uh, easy way to do it. Uh, you can think of your all your files as core files that are really critical and then everything else. For most of you, all of this will fit within that 10 terabytes. Um, and so you can back up both, but it's really critical that you're keeping at least one backup and ideally two backups. You, you really want to have three total of everything. And this allows you to do that and, and think about how you're going to do it and do it pretty cheaply. So that's what you're going to get in uh, from this course. And just if you think about the dozens, if not hundreds of hours you've, you've invested in your learning systems and in all the information that you've collected and created, uh, to not spend a little bit of money to keep that safe doesn't make any sense. So cloud storage is really important and making sure that you have the systems in place so that everything that you <coughs> download from the internet, everything that you uh, create is automatically backed up in the cloud and is available on all your devices is really, really important. And that's what you're going to get when you take this course. Including, by the way, you're going to learn the service where you can get 10 terabytes per month for $10 a month. And even uh, you're going to learn about Amazon's Unlimited, and and which does have some pretty bad uh, it, you can't really use it as a cloud sync like you can with the other ones. This is not Amazon Unlimited. This is another one that you're going to learn about um, later on in this course.